Hello, welcome to the Simply Sublime series. I'm Tess, and in this episode, I'm going to be making chorizo bruschetta. So to begin, I have 100 grams of chorizo, which I finely sliced. I've got the same amount of mushrooms, which I've chopped as well and I've got 150 grams of cannellini beans. But for the full description and method, just check out the description box. So I've turned on my heat and it's on a medium, and I'm just gonna add the chorizo in with a tablespoon of olive oil. Straight to the pan. I'm also gonna add the mushrooms as well. Now I'm just gonna give them a few minutes to fry and cook out and the mushrooms will take on that really nice colour of the chorizo. So my mushrooms are really soft and my chorizo is getting nice and crispy. So I've got my cannellini beans here, which I've just drained and given a little rinse. And I'm just going to add them straight to the pan to soak up all those really nice chorizo juices and to warm them up a bit. So I'm going to add some fresh thyme as well. Pick through the leaves. I'm just going to add some black pepper. If at this point it dries out a little bit and the beans seem to look a little bit kind of like they're sticking to the bottom and becoming a bit of a mush, just add a little dash of water. It also means that there's more juices so the beans can kind of soak them up. So while my beans finish warming through, I'm going to pop my toast under the grill. If you like the look of this recipe and for plenty more in the series, just click the subscribe button. Also, if you want to find my YouTube channel, it's called Tess Ward. Okay, so I've got my hot toast here. Now, I've got a clove of garlic and some olive oil, a very promising start. Now, I've just got to rub each piece of toast and this is just going to give it a lot of flavour and as soon as that chorizo gets on it, magic's going to happen. Perfect. Now a little drizzle of olive oil on each. And finally, the really lovely chorizo mushroom mixture. Just put a little bit on each. This is why it's important to cut the mushrooms small and slice the chorizo thinly because if they're too fat they will just fall off really. So all I've got to do now is finish with a little drizzle of olive oil on each and a few little leaves of thyme. Just to make it a little bit brighter, give it a little bit of green. Presentation is key. I'm just going to finish with a little bit more pepper. I really hope you guys like this recipe. Please do get in touch. Um, there's plenty more in this series where this came from. I know you're going to love it. Come back next time. Thank you.